are going to go to Tinkercad.com and we are going to use the micro bit in Tinkercad. So click on designs. So we are going to click on new and then we're going to click on circuit. Our goal today is to use a breadboard, a breadboard adapter, which in Tinkercad they call a breakout, one LED, and one resistor. The micro bit with breakout is a programmable board you can use to build interactive circuits with a breakout board for easy connection to a breadboard. And if you're using the Electrics kit, they call it a micro bit with an adapter. We're going to use the LED. And so the LED is just a light emitting diode. And we're going to use a resistor. And a resistor restricts the flow of electricity in a circuit, reducing the voltage and current as a result. So first, let's go and let's get our micro bit. So I'm going to search up micro bit. And I want the micro bit with breakout. So I'm going to drag that out. And I'm just going to rotate it by using the rotate tool at the top. The next thing I need is I need a breadboard. So I'm just going to go in the search category on the right hand side, click on breadboard. And I'm just going to use the small one. I'm going to bring that over. I'm going to do one LED. I'm going to drag that out and we need one resistor and I'm going to drag that out. First we need to connect the breakout to the breadboard so we're going to start with the ground. I'm going to click on the ground on the breakout also known as the adapter, breadboard adapter in the kit and I'm going to go to the negative column. I'm also going to turn this wire black because usually in car batteries the ground is black. The next thing we need to do is we need to have the power. So I'm going to connect the three volt to the positive and I'm going to turn that red. All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to get our LED and I'm going to put the LED in row five. I'm going to put it in column J, row five. And remember the LED has a cathode side and an anode side. The anode is positive the cathode is negative. And then we need to get the resistor. So I'm going to grab the resistor and I'm going to make sure it's with the cathode row. So make sure that it's with the cathode or the negative. It does make a difference which way the resistor is pointed. So make sure that the brown side here with the brown stripe is over on the E columns. Basically, this connects these columns with these columns over here. In our coding, we're gonna say that when we press pin zero, the light is going to go on. So I'm going to go to pin zero, and I'm going to drag it over to the F column and drop it in. And then we have to make a circuit where the electricity is flowing. So from the anode side, which is positive, I'm going to click and I'm going to drag my wire up. Now, if you notice that all of those holes turn green, that means that they're all connected. So that means the electricity is gonna flow in between these. And then finally, I need to connect my resistor to my negative. So I'm going to click on row A5 and drag it over to the negative side. And I'm just going to turn it black since it's negative. I'm just trying to keep everything that's negative black and everything that's positive red. All right, let's take a look at our code. So we could say on start and you could do a smiley face or you can do a check mark or whatever you want. I'll put a check mark for today. And we're going to use our forever block. I'm going to the output and I'm going to say digital write pin zero high because here we use pin zero. Now we could have used pin one, we could have used pin two, but if you use pin one or pin two, you have to change your coding over here. So it doesn't matter which pin you use as long as this corresponds with where you put your pin over here. And then I'm going to do digital write pin low, which is basically on and off. So let's start this simulation. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's, it's going, but it's going pretty fast. So let's go ahead and let's put a weight in. 
I'm going to grab the weight and I think I'll change this to two seconds and I'll grab another weight and I'll change that to two seconds and now let's start our simulation. As you can see, our LED is going on for two seconds and off for two seconds and on for two seconds and off for two seconds. So this is our first exploration into using the breadboard adapter, also called the breakout in Tinkercad and our circuits. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great day. Have fun creating.